Lots of people ask me about growing spiritually, becoming connected, becoming connected to everyone. And that's all right to say. But the real thing that worries me is that we are in a terrible state. We are in chaos. And I'm going to be very frank about it. The world is upside down. It is turned inside out. And God and the angels are doing every single thing, regardless of what religion you are, to help to bring us back to reality, to connect with each other, to save our planet, to save ourselves. But yet we are, which really saddens me, I, I give out to God about it all the time, we're still tearing each other apart. And that is something I cannot understand why we're doing this. The world is literally bleeding. We are all bleeding. That's, maybe that's a stronger way to say it. We are all bleeding because we are all losing, in a sense, faith. We're losing hope. We're losing, in a sense, belief in ourselves. For some reason, we are being pulled back all of the time and being told it doesn't matter. Everything is going to go back to normal. But our world is not going to go back to normal and we're going to make it worse if we don't pull together as one. If we don't stop doing all of these horrific things that are happening in the world, we're still, there's still wars on. We're, we're still not responding to keeping us all well and healthy. We're, we have still so many people living in so much poverty. We have completely, and we still are, which just really shocks me, ignoring our planet, ignoring nature. And the big connection to your spirituality, to you growing spiritually, is connecting to nature. And we are ripping our planet apart. We seem to think that our planet can keep on producing all of the things that are around us, but it can't. We are bleeding ourselves, but we are bleeding our planet. We are, in a sense, ignoring what God and the angels have asked us. Where's the love? Where's the compassion? Where's the, you know, the get up and go and say, and not to be afraid? to speak up and not to be afraid for what is right, not just for you personally, but for everyone else and especially for our planet. We just have to, I cry over this. When I watch the news, I sometimes am in tears. I say, God, what is mankind doing? Do they not realize yet that you are real? that the angels are real, that they're there helping us, and that you have given us this beautiful planet as a gift. Never mind the sun and the moon, which you have, and all of the others. You've given us so much. It's like you give a child or you give someone something for free. Sometimes they kind of mistreat it and break it and throw it away. But one thing we can't do, we can't throw our planet away. We've got to make that spiritual connection. We've got to change. And I'm just asking you to please change. And I'm asking as well all of the governments um, to please change. And please make the right decisions, but work faster. We are going too slow. We will only make life harder for ourselves by going slow. We've got to go a bit faster. And sometimes I think I'm even going a bit slow. Sometimes God asks me to do something or one of the angels, Archangel Michael, and I'd be too scared because I'd be afraid the world will reject me. And I shouldn't be because in a sense, it has nothing to do with the world. It has to do with all of you becoming connected spiritually, 
becoming and making this beautiful planet, this world, and I know we can do it. We can make this world like a little glimpse of heaven. I've seen it so many times how we can do it. But yet, we are fighting. We are being greedy and selfish. We are killing each other. We're doing horrific things. So please, I ask you, speak up and be counted, but for the right things and have love and compassion in your heart. No more condemning or saying, having anger towards someone that is of different faith than you are. We are all brothers and sisters and we all need each other. So let's connect truly and correctly spiritually. God bless and love you.